Okay, uh, again with IPSec, um, and I, I may be uh, repeating myself a bit, but uh, just to uh, make sure that we have covered everything, uh, security associations, and of course, for each um, security function that you were dealing with, you need a different security association. We've talked about the fact that you need, you know, essentially two security associations for any uh, bi-directional traffic. Um, security associations are, to use uh, an earlier uh, reference, um, simplex. They're for one direction only. Um, so, uh, now we can have iterated tunneling. Uh, the application of different uh, security functions, both the encryption and the authentication header, uh, through IP uh, tunneling. And so we can have multiple uh, levels of nesting. Uh, each tunnel can uh, originate or uh, terminate at different points of the network. Um, again, uh, this is an IPv6 protocol, but it is compatible with IPv4. Um, works just fine. Uh, the keying uh, is based on the IP address, so this is node authentication. This is not user authentication. Um, network address translation or other um, uh, virtual private networks and even uh, sort of circuit level proxies are going to break uh, IPsec authentication. Um, so you, you have to be careful with regard to that. Now, um, you can tunnel, have tunneling, which in which the IP address is encryption, or transport, uh, where the IP address is visible in uh, IPsec. So I, I you know, um, tunneling is uh, actually has a specific meaning with IPsec. So you you want to. Uh, make sure that you um, are using it correctly. And I've been using it, uh, I suppose, somewhat sloppily here. Um, so, uh, again, it imposes uh, a computational uh, cost, a very heavy computational cost sometimes, and also a memory uh, cost. Memory is needed for the IP code, for the data structures. Um, you uh, have the computational cost in terms of the integrity check uh, values and for inc encryption and uh, decryption. Um, it's an added cost in terms of per packet handling um, and so you've you've got to you know check that when you're talking when you're considering uh, the throughput uh, here. Um, it's it's not excessive in terms of the um, oh, uh, Processing uh, that devices are capable of handling these days, but uh, again, it is a cost and, and uh, should be considered. It, it does, uh, it can have uh, an effect depending on you know how many uh, layers that you're you're imposing on it. Um, you know how much processing is is required on that. So. Um, the use of the security association and the key management protocols. Um, those are, you know, imposes a 
a management cost. Um, the um, it's a it's a management cost that isn't uh, dissociated completely dissociated from uh, the the processing, but it's it's mostly in terms of the management um, when. Um, you know, and particularly when you're looking at systems that are um, employing public key cryptography and, uh, you know, layering IPsec on top of that as well. So, uh, you know, remember uh, to factor those in. Um, that... Uh, well, I guess we we have, you know, covered IPsec there. Um, you know, it is... Um, uh, <laughs> well, as is often the case with uh, uh, some of these aspects. Um, possibly a little uh, over-engineered and heavily engineered. I, I mean, it's, it's a good protocol, um, but... Uh, it, it does have costs. Now, mind you, I mean, we do have a tendency to uh, uh, take shortcuts and, and, you know, essentially cheat um, with regard to some of our security issues. And so it's uh, something that you may... Uh, want to uh, well consider in, in terms of security uh, you kind of get what you pay for and you know if you're going to go quick and dirty you're going to be subject to vulnerabilities and, and uh, gaps and exploits so um, uh, again you know what what is important to you uh, how important it, are the different aspects of of security? Um, you know, there is the the cost benefit analysis to be done, but um, bearing in mind that uh, you know, ultimately, uh, security uh, you get what you pay for, and uh, you need to. Remember that, you know, remember what the cost is. Uh, can you afford, afford the cost, but can you afford the failure? Uh, you know, what is going to happen with you um, if, uh, if you fail, if uh, you leave something uncovered in regard to these issues?